Okay, let's start. 1. How to enter student's absence. First, you need to log in to the college system using your login name and the password given. And this is the screen that you will find after you log in. Just double click on the foundation module. Okay? And then directly you will go to this screen. You select the student foundation progress and then go down to attendance then student absence. On this screen you need only to select three things in order to enter the student's absence. First, the date, the right date that you are teaching that class, and then which class exactly that you are teaching. Is it the first session or the second session? And then you click OK here. Again, you click on the absent date down arrow you select the date and then select the right session that you'd like to enter the absence in first session or second and then you go to the student class list where you click on that down arrow and that will show the students list registered on that class what you need to do is simply tick the students who are only absent there or late. Absent or late. And then hit on OK and save. Another important point that we'd like to discuss here in our video is how to rectify an entering error before saving. Sometimes when we go and cross-check our students that we entered on the college system as absent, we might find a student who was not marked as absent, but by mistake we entered his name. In order to rectify that error, we simply highlight his name by tapping on it. And I have a case here. Better Ahmed Khalfan, and then move up to the clear record icon and click it. That's it, and then you can save your work. And of course, don't forget to click on the exit button, and then you can go again and enter another class attendance. Another case that you might find is that you might drop a student while you are, you are taking the students who are absent in your class. If you forgot one of them, you go simply and click on the down arrow or any down arrow there under the student's class list and you will have that window okay that will show again the students list you click on the student that you dropped and you would like to enter his absence and then hit OK and save your work and exit now let's move to another point updating students absence after saving you might find out that there is a student or two that you misentered, you dropped, after you were like doing some kind of cross-check. What you need to do is to go again to the student absent screen and don't hit any, any button except execute query over there, the one in the middle. Here, you are going to see all the records that you saved, all the days, 
all the classes that you have already entered their absence. You can find here that there are those arrows, the up arrow and the down arrow, and those will help you to move forward and backward on days. Here, for example, um, if you'd like to go to 19th of May instead of 20th, you just go and click on the down arrow to move backward. And that will retrieve all the data that you already saved there for that class. You go and modify by dropping, clearing the data, whatever you want. Save your work after you finish and don't forget to exit. 4. Following up student's absence. If you'd like to follow up your student's absence, through, for example, checking warnings the students have received, what you need to do is, on the Foundation module, you go to the student's Foundation Progress, add Tendence, and then click on Student Warning Letters. This screen is what you are going to see in order to inquire about your student's warning letters that he has received, you enter query, click on that button, and then enter his seat number, and then you can retrieve all the data, all the warning letters that have been issued to him. I'm giving here an example of what I did. I entered there, the query using that button and the seat number as you can see here for that student Rashid and down there you can see the warning details and you can see clearly that the student got the first warning here right okay there if the student submitted any valid excuses like medical excuses or so here it will show down there you can see also um, his absence percentage what if you'd like to inquire about your whole class's warnings warning one two and three in order to do that you just go there to attendance and here you are going to select students warning query and this is the screen that you will see for example if you would like to go and inquire about those who have received the first warning what you need to do here is enter query and then just enter the number of the warning that you'd like to inquire about one for the first warning two for the second three for the third and then click on execute button the one in the middle and you are going to retrieve all the data and you can see as you can see here the percentage of each student's attendance or absence here. Now, what if you'd like to inquire about your class's absence by date? That is another feature that we can find here on our college system. In the same module, foundation module, you go there to the reports this time, and then click on the student absence date wise here another screen will pop up and what you need here is to just to select the right semester here I'm in I entered 31 for this semester and the level level 1 2 3 or 4 and then the group after that hit on the run report button 
you will find out that there, that there is a screen that will have all your classes uh, attendance with all names seat numbers and of course their absence date as you can see over here here you can follow up your students and check cross check the days that he or she was absent on let's move to another point dealing with error messages on the college system we might encounter some error messages especially while we try to enter some students absence on the system the famous error message that we might have is this message cannot insert this record it is already exist and that message actually pops up due to that that record is already exist you already entered the class's attendance but you forgot in order to rectify that problem that error that you have what you can do here is you click on OK click OK on that message and then go to the exit button and click it and then you will have that message do you want to save the changes you have made instead of clicking yes or cancel just click on no you don't okay another issue that we might encounter on the college system that for a reason or another the college system hangs up actually this might be because of the enormous number that we have as users of the college system especially on Thursdays Saturdays sometimes what we can do is here we can use the exit policy just click on that one that icon exit right or use control alt delete another way is to relog in after we exit relog in and go on um, using the color system a third way is to restart your computer and that will rectify all the errors the system is fixing itself a fourth point or a fourth way to rectify the errors here is to try again in a different time after an hour or two there is no problem at all if still your problem is not fixed you just contact me and I'll try to help you out send me an email at walid-eng at s hct.edu.om and I'll try to help you out as soon as possible this is the end of our video I hope that you found it useful we have learned how to enter the students absence how to rectify errors before saving our data and after saving um, thank you for watching it and if you have any comment or suggestion please don't hesitate to contact me on my email address it's walid-eng at shct.edu.om